What is up you guys? This is Mini Superheroes Today. And in today's video, we'll be looking at one of the new sets from the LEGO Hidden Side theme, which just came out, and this is set 70418 JB's Ghost Lab. This has 174 pieces, comes with three minifigures and a ghost dog, and retails for $20 in the United States. Now taking a look here, the first figure we've got is Spencer, the ghost dog, who's really interesting. He sits on one little stud there, so cool little figure. Then, of course, we've got JB, who appears to be the doctor in this case, or the scientist in the lab. Lots of really fun, unique printing on there. Love the Frankenstein's monster on her torso. And you can flip the hair around, and she's got a face that looks like one of her uh, experiments exploded in her face, so that's pretty cool. And, of course, she's got a little smartphone in her hand, and that'll play in in just a minute here. So I'll get to that in a moment, but once we get through the figures... So here we've got Jack, who's really cool. He's got this new hat and hoodie uh, hairpiece kind of thing going on. Again, he's got a smartphone here and just some really great printing on the torso and the legs. So I really dig that figure. And then here we've got a uh, figure named Mr. Elton, not to be confused with Mr. Elton John. But he's got a really cool look here. He's got a uh, winking face with a band-aid on. He looks like he's a bit of a mechanic. And then when you flip it around, he's got a scared face on. And the whole shtick with this figure is that you can also take this ghost head and put this on him too, because I guess he gets taken over by a ghost or something here. Now, the reason I'm kind of speaking vaguely about this set is, you know, again, Hidden Side is a new theme, and the idea behind it is that, uh, so yeah, there's some flames on the back of the head there, but the idea behind Hidden Side is, is that you take your smartphone and you can activate it with the set, so like you can make the set come to life. And I've actually not tried it before this video. So I'm going to show you the set here. But uh, after that, I'm going to pull out my iPhone and, you know, open the Hidden Side app and show you what it looks like. So I wanted to do a set review for those of you that just care about the set. And then for people who are curious about Hidden Side, we're actually going to take a look at the app and see how it interacts with the set. So that said, just kind of breaking down the set here, it's really cool that it's kind of like a 50s lab kind of vibe. I really like that. Um, over here, you can turn this little turnstile here and it changes all kinds of colors and stuff so that's neat there's a little sticker there and apparently this is some kind of like ghost portal or something like that it reminds me of danny phantom a little bit if you guys remember that show but you could put a figure here to type on the 3d printer computer it looks like there's all kinds of uh you know different vials up here that look really cool and then there's a 3d printer piece here of course there's just a 3d printed sticker but you can open that up and something's being made there and when you flip it around, there's just a little bit more, uh, you know, lab stuff like this sticker in here and stuff. And basically my thought of this set is, man, you do get some really cool figures for 20 bucks. And the lab is a pretty interesting build too. It's really cool. It kind of reminds me of the old uh, Monster Hunters sets, how some of those sets were kind of out there. But to wrap up this section of the review, I actually do recommend this set. At 20 bucks, you get a lot of really interesting pieces. And even if you don't care about the Hidden Side app, it's still a cool set. So that said, let's go ahead and jump into the Hidden Side app. So I'm going to pull out my phone and change the camera angle here. And uh, we're going to try out the Hidden Side app together for the first time. All right, guys, so gonna open the Hidden Side app here, and it's coming to life. All right, there it is. That's the Haunted High School set. And uh, so basically the idea behind Hidden Side is that you're hunting ghosts. So in the app, you have to choose which side you wanna go for first. So because we're gonna start normal, I'm gonna choose the normal side. So you click that, and then it brings up all the sets that are available, which is what JB is saying there. So if you click that, it shows you all of the current hidden side sets that you can get, and you notice at the top it says Season 1. So they're probably going to do some more sets. But in any case, I'm going to go ahead and click the Ghost Lab, since that's the set that I have. And now I click Play. And it asks if you've built the set, which of course you guys have seen that I have. So now it's loading and it says play in a well-lit area, clean flat surface, and avoid patterned and reflective surfaces. So I think that white background matches all of that criteria, so let's see what it says. So it says start and now it's reading. So it says scan the set. So I'm doing that, saying to match the shape, as you can see there. Sorry, I was holding that off camera a little bit. So it's gonna ask me to match the shape. So there we go, it looks like it's scanned it in. Wow, look at that, guys. It's like a VR kind of thing. That's amazing. So, okay. Uh, it looks like there's some places I can tap. Clear the gloom, it says. Sorry, I keep holding that off camera. Let me get like this so I don't do that. 
Uh, this place has been totally gloomed. You need to clear out the gloom pronto, but first you've got to find it. So it's asking me to change the colors on that turnstile. So it's saying to tap yellow. So I need to turn this for it to be yellow. Sorry, I know it's kind of hard to see, guys. It's, that's the one thing. It's like it's hard to do a video on this and do it. But you can see on the app it's saying to tap yellow. So I'm going to do that. Move the diamond to the center of your phone. Uh, I'm not sure what it's... Oh, okay. It's asking me to move it to the 3D printer. So, okay. Uh, it, I guess it's asking me to change the color again. So now it wants me to scan it. So it's kind of cool. I mean, it's cool to bring this set to life. Um, I feel like I'm doing a what's play or something. Okay, so now I just collected some coins. I'm not really sure what those coins will be for. And now I need to tap over here. Okay, so, you know, I know I'm kind of moving my phone all around, but it's hard to video this um, so yeah there we go so I guess I'm just kind of figuring out the app and all of that so here's what I'm gonna say guys I'm gonna go ahead and zoom out of this because this is a little bit more intensive than I thought but here's my question if you want me to review more hidden side sets, drop a comment below and let me know. And when I do the hidden side sets, if you want me to do the app thing with it, let me know that too. This is a little more intensive than I thought, but as you can tell, I'm just kind of doing this by the seat of my pants. So drop a comment, let me know if I should do more hidden side set reviews, and if I do those reviews, should I do this like live app thing too? I'll be better set up for it next time. So thanks so much for checking out this video, guys. Hit like and subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll catch you guys on the next video. If you liked what you saw and you liked what you heard, feel free to click that subscribe button for more LEGO content coming in the near future. So, thanks for tuning in to today's video, and until next time, build on.